Scripps mission. The pressure from the British allies in the war, along with the threat of a possible Japanese invasion, forced the British to send the Cripps mission in 1942 to negotiate with Indian leaders and to submit its proposals. The Japanese were fighting against Britain in the Second World War and were advancing towards India. The Cripps mission offered dominion status after the war, that is, the Indians could have their own government but still remain under the British Empire. The provinces and the princely states had a choice. If they opted for the latter, then they would have to sign a separate agreement with the British. The Congress was not satisfied as it wanted an immediate transfer of power to India and therefore talks broke down. Quit India Movement 1942 Gandhiji wanted immediate British withdrawal from India. On 8th August 1942, the Quit India Resolution was adopted at Congress session in Bombay. Gandhiji gave the people the motto of Do or Die, that is either Free India or Die in the Attempt. On 9th August, the members of the Congress Working Committee were arrested and the Congress was banned. People destroyed symbols of British authority such as rail tracks, post offices and police stations. They set up parallel governments in various parts of India. It was clear now that the transfer of power was around the corner. The Congress worked by sending messages through secret radio transmissions. Ram Manohar Lohia, Jay Prakash Narayan, Aruna Asif Ali were among the leaders who led the movement at this time. Although the movement was brought under control, it shook the foundations of British rule in India. During the Second World War, India also suffered due to food shortages and involvement of Indian soldiers in the war. There was also a terrible famine in Bengal in 1943, which took a toll of 30 lakh people. The British imported food to meet the needs of the army, while the Indians starved. Azad Hind Forj After the Quit India movement, there was a lull in political activities in India till Subhash Chandra Bose came to fore. He left the Congress in 1939 due to differences of opinion with Gandhiji. Unlike Gandhiji, he felt that British would leave India only by the force of arms. Bose secretly left India in 1941 and arrived in Berlin. From there he went to Japan where under the initiative of Raj Bihari Bose, he raised Azad Hind Forge or the Indian National Army, INA, comprising of the Indian soldiers of the British Army and captured by the Japanese in the war, Netaji taught his army the slogan of Jai Hind. The INA joined the Japanese forces and advanced towards India via Burma. They hoisted the Indian flag in Manipur. With the defeat of Japan in Second World War in 1945, the INA had to abandon all its plans. Many of its soldiers were arrested. Subsequently, the government instituted their public trial at the Red Fort. This roused the people's patriotic feelings. As a result, despite being convicted, the sentences of INA leaders were remitted and soon they were set free. Around this time, unrest also spread to the Royal Indian Air Force and Navy. Thus, it became quite clear that the British Empire could no longer depend on Indian military personnel. This realisation hastened the process towards country's freedom. Transfer of power By the end of Second World War, Britain had become economically too weak to sustain its empire in India. In the post-war elections to the legislature, the Congress won all the general seats and the Muslim League won the seats reserved for Muslims. Due to widespread unrest in India, the British Prime Minister Clement Attlee decided to transfer the power. Cabinet Mission In March 1946, the British government sent a three-member cabinet mission headed by Lord Penthick Lawrence to start the process of transferring power to India. The mission discussed that the Indian leaders, the terms and modalities for the transfer of power. The mission proposed an interim government which would form a constituent assembly to form a constitution for a free and federal India. Accordingly, 
in September 1946, an interim cabinet headed by Jawaharlal Nehru was formed by the Congress. The Muslim League hesitantly joined the cabinet in October. The Muslim League observed 16th August 1946 as direct action day for the creation of Pakistan and there was a large scale communal violence. The league also boycotted the constituent assembly which started working on 9th of December 1946 under the presidentship of Dr Rajendra Prasad to frame the new constitution of India partition and independence On 20th February 1947 British Prime Minister Clement Attlee declared that Britain would quit India by June 1948 Lord Louis Mountbatten was also made the new viceroy of India in 1947 he drew up the mount patton plan which announced that india would be free in august 1947 but was to be partitioned and a new country called pakistan was to be created along with a free india the congress leaders reluctantly accepted the partition in order to avoid large scale communal riots in which thousands of innocent people would be killed The Mount Patton plan was given legal effect by Indian Independence Act in July 1947. The two independent dominions, India and Pakistan, were created at midnight on 14th and 15th August 1947. Most of the princely states joined the Dominion of India by signing the Instrument of Accession before 15th August 1947. Vallabhbhai Patel played a key role in this process. Muhammad Ali Jinnah became the first Governor General of Pakistan. Lord Mountbatten became the first Governor General of Dominion of India. He was succeeded by C. Rajagopalachari. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru became India's first Prime Minister, and India emerged as an independent nation after more than 200 years of colonial rule. The announcements about the partitions led to agitations in many places in India. More than 1 lakh people were killed and several times of that number had to leave their homes for new destinations in either India or Pakistan. Gandhi ji tried his best to maintain peace in riot affected areas. On 30th January 1948, he was shot dead by a fanatic named Nathuram Godse. The entire country was plunged into grief. Thus, it is our sacred duty not only to preserve our freedom but also to work hard and make our country strong and united trivia after independence in 1947 and declaration of a republic in 1950 india held its first general elections in 1952 with a voter turn out of more than 62% trivia the border between india and pakistan was drawn by a british lawyer sir cyril ratliff